Today's economy can be a challenge to many people, but there's a lot of opportunities if you know how to do it right. And one company that is doing that well is Encore. They've got a little product out called Print Shop, and I've had a chance to take a peek at this. Here it is, a Print Shop 2.0, very nice. And joining us right now from their offices out in Los Angeles is Jennifer Smizak. She is a product director for that. Jennifer, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Hey, well, I'm really excited about your product because I understand with your product, now correct me if I'm wrong, we don't have to go out and get a master's degree and to get, learn, you know, a PhD and Photoshop and all that kind of stuff. Talk to me about that. Tell me what you can do with your product and how that works for people and how people are using your product right now. Sure. Uh, we created the print shop to be accessible design tools for everyday users. So we created a tool that allowed you to create professional quality results without having to go to training, without a lot of money up front, and without having to hire a designer. So it gives you all of the desktop publishing tools that you want to help you create things like greeting cards or business cards, all of your marketing materials for your businesses, right from your home or work computer. And then you can either just print them out at home or take them out uh, to an offset printer for some professional printing. That sounds excellent. So in other words, someone could start using this and you don't have to do a lot of training. How long would it take to get up to speed and start working with it? Producing, oh, let's say if you want to produce a little flyer for a business. You want to do that for your business, your uh, uh, home-based bus business or one-person business. How long do you see it would take to get up and start producing just one flyer? You know, you could create a flyer in as quickly as, you know, I would say half hour from the first time you install mm. the software. Very good. Um, to get in and learn all of the tips and tricks of the software, you know, may take you a little bit longer, but but you could literally use it within an hour. One of the things that we did to make the print shop even easier is that in addition to the intuitive tools we offer, we do have video tutorials for how to do all of the special things like drop shadows and advanced gradients, changing paper stocks and linking text from one column to the next. Oh, very nice. And are those uh, videos available online or are those on the software? How do you handle that? Well, there's a link straight from the welcome screen of the software, but they are hosted online. It's a website at ideas.printshop.com. And in addition to those video tutorials, we offer project ideas uh, for inspiration throughout the year. Oh, well, sounds good. Well, I really like that. It's uh, the, what I've seen of the product a little bit. It's very good and very easy. I mean, even a guy like me could do this. And I'm not real good with graphics, but I can sit down and start working with it. I go, whoa, because the other, I mean, Photoshop is a good program. I'm not going to put it down because it's good for those that really get into that and use it. But for me, I just don't have time to learn all of that. And it uh, costs, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but about $300 billion for that. I might be just a little bit off there. But uh, what is the retail price on print? Shop 2.0. So we've got three versions of the product. Uh, it starts at $30 and that's for the basic version. Uh, it's entry level design tools if you just want to get in and make a couple of projects. We've got Deluxe which is for the design enthusiast. Uh, we've got more features in that one and some more templates and, re and uh, clip art. That one retails at $50. It's $49.99. And then we've got a professional version which offers a full range of uh, design tools like layer management, the drop shadows and the gradients that I referred to. And that one's $90. So, uh, you know, so definitely affordable price structures. Yeah, so $90 retail. And it sounds like it does all the things that grown-ups would do, right? Absolutely. So we can do all those things, put them together, and uh, make that happen. But you figure for ninety dollars, that's really good. So I think the whole point that I see on this, it, it struck me, is that this is not just a a tool that you can design great brochures and graphics and uh, handouts and things like this. This is a way, really, to fire up your business, to generate business, because a lot of people in today's economy are out there saying, "Wow, we've been laid off, and uh, that job's probably not coming back." It would seem like a lot of entrepreneurs can do that. What are you seeing? with your customers out there. Are there more people that are embracing this now given the economy today? Absolutely. You know, it really is a great way to either, you know, market yourself if you want to make your own business cards, your own letterhead that you would put your resume on. You could make your resume right inside the software if you are looking for a job. For those people who are starting their own businesses, uh, you know, it is a great way to brand your company, to create, you know, your real professional quality marketing materials. You can do direct mail. And like I said, you can save out as a 300 DPI JPEG and take it into an offset printer for some professional printing where it's incredibly easy just to print from home. Okay, so what kind of requirements would someone need if they say, gee, I'm thinking about doing this, uh, I've been laid off, I want to get started. What kind of requirements do they need to run print shop, get it up and running properly? 
So the Print Shop 2.0 is a PC application. It was designed for Windows 7, but it does work on XP and Vista. Um, so you just need a computer, you need the software, and you would need a printer if you want to print out from home. Or again, you know, you could just save it onto a thumb drive and take it into a professional printer. So very low requirements for getting started uh, and just a little bit of imagination. Mm, sounds good. And of course, internet connection would be good for those tutorials that are probably good when you're getting started. Yes, and you know you do need internet connection to access uh, the clip art and the templates. We have an enormous gallery of both clip art and ready-made templates included in the product. Um, or you could use your own images that uh, you have. Let's say you have a corporate logo, or you know if you're a realtor and you want to use your photo, you can import them right into the product. So that's pretty easy. Yeah, Jennifer, I like the way you're saying that because that makes sense that you're not someone doesn't have to start from scratch. They're able to build from the templates that you already have. And I saw those, and as I looked at them, I thought, gee, I like this. I can do this stuff. And we can sit down, start working with it. You've got a way to get started, and then build a business from there. And then once you've got that, okay, now they've got Print Shop. They're using it. They're comfortable with it. How do they build their business from there that you've seen that works for customers that you've had and in your experience? You know, one of the things I would really recommend from a design perspective is to think about recurring themes across your projects. So if you are starting a business, and let's say it's a landscape business and you've got some imagery that you like to use, I would say keep using that imagery in all of your projects. And one of the ways that the print shop helps you do that is that we have an image tray that resides at the bottom of the screen. So as you tab across your open projects, it's very easy to just uh, import those uh, images right into each of your projects. Mm -hmm. Again, they're building on something that's already there, being able to use that in a real significant way. And so you're really not on your own. And that becomes another issue when you've got it. Buying the software is one thing, but I say that the cost of the software is not the cost of the software. What really is the cost is your time, money, and effort in learning how to use it. What type of support do you have for someone once they purchase that? You've mentioned the online tutorials. What else exists when someone says, eh, but how do I do the such and such? So again, in addition to those tutorials that we have, um, we do offer customer support. Uh, so you can go onto birderbun.com and click on the support button on the bottom of the screen. Uh, you can also click through uh, straight from ideas.printshop.com to get support as well. And we've got a, a team of people who are ready to help you figure out what you want to do. Ah, see, that's most important, having that team of people there behind you so you're not doing it alone. Putting those things together can help a lot. Well, so if you're watching this video and you're wondering, gee, what can I do? I would like to do a little bit of graphics work, but I'm not really good at it right now. This could be the product that you ought to consider. At least take a look at it, and for $90, you get the full-blown thing. And you can start with a $30 version and gradually build up from there. Jennifer, do we have the ability, if we buy the 30 that we could upgrade later to the 50 and the 90 uh, You can. You can upgrade through Um so you can certainly contact the call center for, for the upgrades. Uh, but, you know, I would say, you know, for $90, it's really not a big investment that the professional really does offer the tools that people are looking for. Yeah, so if you're thinking, hey, I want to get a graphics design business, go ahead and uh, find 90 bucks, figure $100, get a Ben Franklin out there, and you'll come back with some change. And so uh, uh, get started with that and go from there. Well, any last words of uh, advice on getting a business going, starting it, not only with Print Shop, but with anything else that you would give from the experience you've had with your customers? You know, I think that uh, creating your own personal style is probably one of the most important things with starting your own business. Um, and, you know, really thinking about who you are and bringing who you are into your personalized designs is incredibly important, which again is why a tool like the Print Shop is so useful, is that you can create anything that you can envision in this tool very easily, um, and, and you can really express that across your direct mail and your business cards. Excellent. Well, Jennifer, thank you very much for helping us on this. And uh, if someone wanted to uh, get more information on the product or contact you, what's the best way for them to reach you? Uh, I go to ideas.printshop.com. Uh, we've got a feedback form on there, and we'd love to hear from our customers. Um, and then, again, you can find out lots of information about the software, as well as watch some of the video tutorials to see just how easy it is to use. Excellent. Sounds good. Well, Jennifer, thanks for joining us and uh, enjoy LA out there. And uh, we'll look forward to jumping into Print Shop and doing a lot more with it and having a lot more Great, fun. Great. Thank you. Thank you.